Hello and welcome to my channel, Ebony Beauty. My name is Ebony. Today, me and Scully will be talking about some of our favorite Halloween makeup. Now, the majority of it is eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see some spooky makeup, stick around. we have is the Rubber Raggy palette from the Glam Light Scooby Doo collection. It's this beautiful green and blue palette and I like a lot of greens and blues so this is why this one is one of my favorites. I like the front of it. It's got a um, shaggy holding Scooby like they do in the show. And I believe it's on sale on the website too right now if you want to pick it up. And you can't have this one without having the creeps and crawls from the Glam Light Scooby Doo collab. And this one is mostly blues and purples, and there's a lot of pretty shimmers in here. We see the top row. And I like the artistry on the front of it too. This one is also on there for sale. I believe you can get both of them they came as a duo so you can get both or you can just get the one next up we have um the stranger things palette from mac and this came with uh two of them this one is the void see the beautiful red and blue and this black is really 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 dark see and then the the palette like if you if you familiar with this show the vine is on the front of the cover and it's like textured so you can fill it on there I'm not sure if you're able to get this one anymore because this did release I want to say last year it's still one of my favorite favorite Halloween palettes Next up is the Not Normal from Unearthly Cosmetics. I don't know if this is really considered like Halloween, but the cover with the, the twins and it look like they're stitched together. And then if you want to see the, the color story too, all of the like greens and olives and purples and browns is like Halloween colors. And the pan sizes on this are really big and they're magnetic. I don't have my pencil, but these ones, they're magnetic. And if you get the magnetic spool, you're able to take these out and move them around. I'm going to move this in closer so you can see it. And Unearthly has a very, very beautiful uh, shimmer and satin formula. And the mattes are very pigmented too. It's an indie brand, so if you haven't heard of them, I would say you should look them up and give them a try. So again... The Not Normal from Unearthly Cosmetics. Next up is the uh, Apocalypse Palette from Clarity Cosmetics. This is also an indie brand. So if you want to check out indie brands, I would suggest this one is another one to check out. And if you want to look at the cover, very spooky jack-o'-lanterns and the uh, branches from the trees in the shape of hands and the moonlight up there and the lantern. Very Halloween in the back as well. And the color story is really, really, really pretty on this one. Shimmers up here. Oh my gosh, very, very, very gorgeous. This one right here is one of my favorites to use. If you see, let's watch. And this one, look how beautiful and glossy these sheets are i do believe that they are restocking this because it was sold out on the site but i believe they're restocking this palette and i believe it'll be available for this halloween season if you haven't gotten your hands on it i would suggest that you run over to clarity cosmetics and grab this one 
Next up is the Club Nebula palette. It is a collab with YouTuber and content creator Angie and Kaleidos. I said this one, I'm not sure if it's really considered a Halloween palette per se, but the color story for me puts me in mind of Halloween. Some of these shimmers. Beautiful. And Beautiful. this is one of my favorite indie brands. Indie brands make some of the best shimmer shades that you will find. And Kaleidos is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite indie brands. And like I said, this one might not be a Halloween release, but because of the grunge color story in it, it puts me in mind of Halloween. So again, Club Nebula by Kaleidos. And look at the designs on here. Look how pretty even the packaging is shimmery. Next up, I included the beautiful Alice in Wonderland palette from Sigma Beauty. Now, the color story in this one follows suit of the story, but I think it's really, really beautiful. And then if you look close, like some of the emblems that they have inside of some of the colors, and this comes with a beautiful blending brush and kind of duochrome and some of these gorgeous shades thank you let's swatch some of my favorite ones so you guys can see how pretty these shades are And another one from Unearthly Cosmetics is the Poison Apple Palette. It's got a nice grunge color story. It's really, really big, big pans on here. I see. Like, shades are really beautiful. Even like the mattes. Like, look how pigmented that matte is and how shiny and glowy these shimmers are and it's like follows the theme like how they named it poison apple you get some of the nice reds and the green colors up here and this is like a shimmery red and like a deep deep cherry apple kind of color up next we have a, another palette from Melt. It is Amor E Modern Pulsas. If I'm saying that wrong, please correct me in the comments. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But if you look at the cover, it's like a beautiful heart in the middle and it's surrounded by spikes, some roses around it, some beautiful butterflies. And if you feel that they kind of like puff out on it, color story is more like a, a fall color story but inside each well not all of them but a lot of the matte shades have a butterfly inside of it and this is one of my favorite palettes from the milk collection it's one of the most pigmented ones and it has some of the most pretty shimmers inside of it like, let me see I'll show you See how gorgeous and I love pink, pink and green because pink and green are some of my favorites. Yeah, and see this is the, the casing that the palette comes in and even the, the packaging features like a beautiful butterfly surrounded by a heart emblem. Very, very, very gorgeous. Like I said, this is one of my favorite palettes from Milk Cosmetics. And next up is the Soul Strange palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. I know you keep hearing me say Unearthly Cosmetics, but Unearthly Cosmetics really puts their theme of their palettes around goth or grunge or Halloween. So a lot of the artistry on it will be grunge. 
but the inside of this palette features some some brighter shades like you see the yellows and the purples and the greens but because of the artistry and the theme I included it. This is one of my favorites. Like I said, this is a great indie brand to try. If you haven't tried an indie brand, Unearthly Cosmetics features a lot of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palettes. This one is one of the originals. I do know they did a restock. I don't know when this is going to go up, so it might not be available when this video goes up. Up next is the Crazy in Love palette from Glam Light. It is their collab with Chucky or the good guy, Child's Play. And it's got Tiffany on it. And if you can see, like I've been flipping it back and forth, you can see the palette shifts. Now, I love horror and beauty. So this palette has one has my heart because it is a beautiful representation of a collab between horror and beauty and if you look like it features some beautiful blood red shades some dark blacks some shimmery purples glen light has has a beautiful formula too it's another one of my favorite indie brands like i said if you haven't tried indie indie brands it's where it's at. Like, I like my mainstream, but if you want to get like a luxury, nice shimmer, beautiful matte, but you don't want to pay that high end price, Indie is where it's at because a lot of these indie brands have very reasonable prices on their palettes and beautiful, beautiful color stories. Up next, we have the Illuminacion Highlight from Milk Cosmetics. It's got like a pink champagne shift, and I've been using it a lot, but it did feature a skull on the inside of it. It released with the Morte palette. I do. see how it glows and like I said that's from milk next up is the resurgence palette it is another unearthly cosmetic palette and it is a collab with the beautiful beautiful Heather Austin I'll let you zoom in so you can see the artistry on the cover so this isn't a halloween release but it puts me in mind of halloween and look how beautiful that color story is and this palette has one of the prettiest red shades that i own this red shade is so 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 bright so 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 pigmented it even wears this bright and you don't even have to build it to to get it this bright it's super gorgeous and this right here this black with this shift in it super super Gorgeous. And if you wanted to do like a goth look with red and black, this palette right here, these two shades are gorgeous. Again, that's the Resurgence palette from Unearthly Cosmetics with Heather Austin. Up next is the most recent collab with Angie and Odin's Eye. These are her Halloween collection palettes. And it's Trick or, the Trick or Treat palette and the Little Ghost palette. And look how beautiful the cover is. Like, I was completely sold by 
the Little Ghost palette because I am a lover of purple and purple shadows. Like, look at the inside of this palette. Like, look how beautiful this color story is. And look how these shades, the shade shift. And then, like, if you're intimidated by color, it's broken up into sections where each quad can be a look. And then straight across to going across each row can be can be a look. Like this purple. And then I'll do this blue. And even this this yellow, just so that you can see the mattes. Like look how gorgeous these these shades are. And that's the little ghost palette from the hollow the Halloween collection from Angie and Olenzai. And this is the trick or treat palette from the Halloween collection. And you see the spooky jack-o'-lanterns on there. And I love, love how they put Angie on the front like this. And then you open up, this is the, the color story. This one is more trick or treat, more fall themed. You see a lot of like burgundies and oranges and like kind of mustard shades and green shades. And then there's this beautiful, like crystal blue green shimmer on the bottom. Again. The Halloween collection. And I saved this for last because it just released. So it is one of the most recent Halloween releases out. And that is it for my Halloween makeup favorites. Thank you for joining me and Scully. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Happy Halloween.